The Gospel of John tells us that Mary was at the foot of the cross. This means that Mary heard Jesus cry out, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? I wonder, when Mary heard these words, what thoughts came into her mind? To answer this question, we need to recall that Mary, as a first century Jewish person, was familiar with the scriptures, especially the Psalms. So when she heard these words, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? She would have immediately turned her mind to Psalm 22, because that is the first line of that psalm. This particular psalm is about a person who is in suffering. And even though the first line sounds like despair, it is actually a psalm filled with hope. As Mary would recall the words of this psalm, she would be familiar with the fact that it is divided into three sections. And what she was now witnessing was the fulfillment of the first section of this psalm. The first section of Psalm 22, we hear, Evil doers surround me, piercing my hands and feet, dry as my throat. They divide my garments among them. For my clothing, they cast lots. Mary was seeing all of this happening before her eyes. Then in the second section of the psalm, we find that the person suffering says, I will proclaim your name to all. What Mary is seeing unfold before her, with her son dying on the cross, is not an end, but rather a continuation of the ministry that Jesus has come to do, to proclaim the reality of the presence of God to every nation of all the peoples on earth. I said earlier that Mary would be hopeful hearing these words. And that is because in the third section of the psalm, it lets us know that because of the suffering of this person, those who seek God will offer praise. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to God. The generation to come will be told of the Lord they will proclaim to a people yet unborn about the deliverance you have brought about. Here the psalm tells us that there will be a positive response to the message and the ministry of Jesus. People will turn to God to find forgiveness of sins and eternal life. I have found it powerful to look at the various events in the life of Jesus through the eyes of Mary, especially through her eyes as a first century Jewish person. When I do so, the scriptures unfold in a fascinating way, and I discover imagery that would have been lost to me if I had just looked through my own understanding of the meanings of certain words. And so through Mary's ears, I now hear the words, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? In a whole new light. And these words now fill me with excitement instead of sadness. I am grateful to John the Evangelist when recording this passage about Mary present at the crucifixion of our Lord and hearing him cry out, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? has taught me something about Mary and about the Psalms, but most of all, about a God who has suffered and died, that I may receive the gift of eternal life. May Jesus, the most holy Redeemer, hear all of our prayers. And may Mary, under the title of our Mother of Perpetual Help, hold each of us tenderly in her arms.